Hey guys, good morning. Happy Sunday. It's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are one of my returning viewers, I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys. How grateful and thankful I am for you. Um, and how much I appreciate um, all the really loving and supportive, kind comments that if you heard that hiss, that's Phasma. She's, she's in her usual mood. Um, <clears throat> but I appreciate you guys so much, um, and appreciate you being here with me. So it is Sunday and I am going to do a theme, um, that I have not done before. And that is a theme that's hosted by my very, very good friend, Diane, over at her channel, Lindy Bloom Nursery. She has a, th I, um, a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> she has a Sunday theme called Snuggle Sunday. Um, and it is a theme where we will be dressing one of our babies in something very warm and very snuggly. And so I've picked out a perfect little outfit for this girl that I think is going to fit her little personality and what she is uh, pretty perfectly. Um, so for those of you who may not have seen my, um, my newest video, this is my um, brand new baby. Oh, you guys, look at Raina. Hold on, let me grab her. Hey, okay, maybe we'll get a chance to look at her later. She's really big now. She's three months old. But anyway, this is my newest reborn baby. Um, she is the Annabelle Sculpt by Denise Pratt and Bountiful Baby. Um, she is a, I believe that Annabelle is a new sculpt, um, to the Bountiful Baby line. Um, and, uh, from what I've read, she has a very different skin tone, um, than their previous, um, kits. She already comes with a really warm skin tone, um, that artists can then build on, uh, with painting. So... But this is her, and I adopted this little girl. She's kind of a partial custom. Um, I adopted her because I love this sculpt because of the fact that this sculpt reminds me of a, um, like a hobbit baby. I know how silly that sounds, but I love, 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 love Tolkien love Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and all of that. But this sculpt has these rather thin little legs, these thin fat little legs, little fat rolls right there. You can really see her little fat rolls. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the sculpt has these huge feet and Hobbits have really, really big feet. And look how big these feet are, you guys. Her toes are all kind of like spread out. Um, and then she's got these, uh, these rather fat little fingers that are all spread out. And then let me take, actually, let me take her coat off of her because we're going to be getting her dressed anyway. And I'm going to tell you her name too that I've picked for her. Um, but she has this face shape that's kind of like, um, she has kind of a wide face with kind of like a square little jaw. She really truly looks like, Hobbit <laughs> and Kelly gave her this wild long just vibrant red curly hair and she's got this like little kind of like pudgy nose and she's got this little frown on her face and she is a baby that was born with a port wine stain birthmark which is uh what this um darker red tone is right here um, and that's a naturally occurring birthmark in some babies but she's got big blue eyes and she has got the side eye going on so she's kind of giving this like judgmental little little side eye <laughs> we put her back down but anyway 
I thought she looked like a hobbit. And I found out yesterday that hobbit children are actually called fauntlings, which I think is the cutest thing ever. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, she was reborn by Kelly from Garden of Eden, who is my favorite artist. I have more babies from her than anybody else. And um, I have decided to name her. Her first name is Tansy. T-A-N-S-Y, Tansy, and her middle name is Willow. So this is Tansy Willow, which I think is a perfect, perfect Hobbit name. Her vinyl is so soft. It is so, so soft. Um, and really, she's really well matted. She's like, she's perfect. And she moves so well. She's a little floppy. But I'm going to change her into um, a really warm, snuggly little outfit. And I think this is perfect for the fact that she is a baby hobbit, a little flauntling. So the onesie is a little gray long-sleeved onesie. And it has a beautiful little embroidered deer head. There's a little deer. And the little antlers are covered in flowers. And it's all embroidered. Little flowers with pink and um, soft pink, kind of mauve-y mauve shades. There's Odin. And then matching little pants that have little vines. And there's little deer kind of hidden in like the vinery. And there's little mauve berries and little sprigs. Um, hey, don't you be bad. Little sprigs of, um, of uh, sort of like olive green. Uh, leaves and then it has this adorable little padded um, coat adorable little padded coat that goes over it so that's where the snuggle part comes in I hate to cover up that deer but this this comes with it it's part of the outfit um, and it's kind of like a quilted um, very kind of like a deep mauve color buttons down the back it's like a little tunic just part of why I think it's perfect for her because it it very much has that kind of fantasy feel to it. And then I'm gonna put her in this really cute little cream um, hair bow. It's uh, kind of soft, like almost like organza material. And it's got two little flowers in the center of it. And I'm also gonna do her hair after we get her dressed. So, so yeah, this is Tansy Willow. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her in this little outfit. And I hope you guys just scoot up a bit. There's your cat, Dee. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am doing pretty good. I have been doing a lot of writing lately. Um, I, I am a writer. I have one published book, um, which is on Amazon. Um, I published it on Amazon. It's in paperback and it's in, in on it's on Kindle and it's part of the Kindle Unlimited program. If you guys are interested, um, the title is "An Eternity of This." It's under my previous married name, which is Amanda Osborne. But if you guys enjoy historical romance, that's what that is. It's based on the Phantom of the Opera. But I've been doing a lot of writing lately. Um, I'm not writing anything right now with the intention of publishing it. Um, what I'm writing right now, she's so floppy. What I'm writing right now is fan fiction. Um, some of you may know what fan fiction is. It's uh, it's you know, it's it's writing that's based upon something that you are a fan of, like a TV show or a movie. A book series, um, but I am writing fan fiction. It's um, Game of Thrones fan fiction. It's based upon the new show House of the Dragon. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, maybe eventually I might decide to to write something else to be published. Um, I really like things that have a romantic bent to them. Um, I like fantasy and sci-fi. 
Um, I have written Star Wars fan fiction. I've written uh, fan fiction based on Phantom of the Opera, which is what my published novel is. Um, I've written, um, oh gosh, I wrote some Stranger Things fan fiction, and now I'm writing Game of Thrones fan fiction. So um, I love to write, and I'll never be able to make a living out of it, but it's... It's a nice little secondary source of income. I mean, not the fan fiction. Um, you can't make money off fan fiction, not legally, not really. Um, because obviously it's... Sorry guys, I'm <laughs> hitching up her little pants over her booty. You can't make money off fan fiction. Um, you can write a fan fiction and then maybe just decide to... reuse an original character or two there's nothing wrong with that but you can't you know you can't use that copyrighted material um, for your own monetary gain but um, if you're wanting to write and you're looking for good material to write with fan fiction is a really good way to get into writing and to draw inspiration from I think before I put the jacket on her, um, I think I might go ahead and put your arms down, little girl. Little pansy. You little pansy, you're so sweet. Okay. I'm going to do her hair. So she's got curly hair, so I'm going to use the Curly Kids spray. Um, mixed textured hair. I always use this on my dolls that have the curly mohair. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray this comb. This is a really wide tooth comb, which is probably the best thing for these curls. I'm going to spray this comb. It's like not spraying. It's just kind of coming out in sort of like drops. I don't know. I think my sprayer may have broken at some point. Let me just really, really quickly just kind of get this through her hair while this is all nice and damp. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so curly. I love the way Kelly roots her babies. Oh my gosh, Kelly is amazing at rooting. Absolutely amazing, you guys. Um, there's some drops that are going on her face. I don't want that to get on her face too much. But yeah, Kelly is absolutely incredible. rooting. Yeah, but I think what I'm going to do is it's really damp over here, so I'm just going to kind of get my fingers damp and then just sort of spread that out. There we go. There we go. Of wetness right at the front. Let me get a little bit more of this spray on my hands. And then I'm going to put a bit in the back of her hair, on the side right here. I'm just going to kind of scrunch it like this. Since it's curly anyway. Okay. Yeah, but look at that rooting, you guys. Look at that. I mean, look at how incredibly realistic that is. This is my little wild child. <laughs> I love that hair. Okay, let me give her another little comb. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's the same color hair as you, Odin. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to put her coat on. Come here. There we go. Look at your beautiful hair. I want to get her a little headband with antlers. Have you guys seen those? Those cute little baby headbands that have antlers? I really want a pair of that for her. I'm going to have to try to look for some because I think that would be so beyond adorable for her. Okay. 
yeah, I've been doing a lot of writing lately. I love writing. Um, writing is a good escape for me when I'm going through something kind of difficult, which I have been lately. With everything going on, now my dad's not feeling good again. Um, so, it's nice to have an escape from reality every now and then. Okay, let's get your other arm through, shall we? Can I get your other arm through here? Mommy, you're taking too long. In video, I'm gonna need too long, Mom. Okay. Alright, she's gonna disappear for a second. I'm just going to just straighten her little tunic here. And then I'm gonna give her some tummy time. Turn her head so I can face. And then I'll just face her that way. That way you can see how adorable her hair is. There we go. See, there we go. There we go. <laughs> how cute is she? Look at that. Look at her. Straighten up her sleeves. They're kind of going everywhere. Cold where you guys are at. It's really cold here. It's like 20 degrees this morning. I need to go do laundry. Oh gosh. Okay. There we go. See, there we go. We can kind of still see her little bits of her little deer poking up. Okay. Oh, my back. That kind of hurt. All right, my dear, I know better than to pull your head up because the last time I pulled the baby's head up while well, I put a headband on them, their head popped off. So let's do this this way. Let's pull this down. <laughs> that was great. Didn't even really do anything. She doesn't have eyelashes. Um, she honestly looks a lot more realistic without eyelashes. A lot of really, really little bitty babies don't even have eyelashes. Okay, let's get this over your head. Get this flipped over your ear. You can cover your ears up. It won't hurt. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at her. Let me get up and see what she looks like in the camera. Arrange her a little bit better. Oh, I leaned a little too forward. Kind of hurt my back. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She is so cute. And no socks, because hobbits don't wear socks. No, they don't. Hobbits don't wear socks. Here she is. She's so sweet. <laughs> Put her back down. She is so stinking cute. There we go. See, there we go. Her little fingers can kind of like lace together. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> my god she's so adorable I love her so much I really really do she is so adorable look at her little fingers 
Okay, guys, that's it for today. So I will talk to you guys later. Please go check out Diane's channel over at Lindy Bloom Nursery. And if you get a chance to make a snuggle Sunday video yourself, you should. You should also go watch uh, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit if you haven't already. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you later. Me and Tansy say goodbye.